It was absolutely horrifying. You didn't hear any breaks. I just hear a loud pop, like, like a loud boom. It happened around 1.15 in the morning at the intersection of Roscoe Boulevard and Lindley Avenue in Northridge. Two people were killed and three others seriously injured. One of those killed, I regret to say, was an off-duty Los Angeles police officer, police officer Daryl Cunningham, who was the driver of one of those two vehicles involved. LAPD officer Daryl Cunningham was a five-year veteran of the department. He worked at the West LA station. He's described as hardworking, honest, a person you could go to to get the job done with a great attitude. So as a department, we're grieving today. Officer Cunningham was off duty traveling in a white infinity with two people. His front seat passenger was also killed. That person's name has not been released. The sole survivor in that vehicle is a San Bernardino Sheriff's deputy who was in the back seat. Just said, I'll pray for you, my brother, that's all. You said that to the officer? Yeah, yeah, just through the window. Just That was the only thing I could do. Ricardo Coleman ran to the scene as soon as he heard the crash. Uh, yeah, I looked in the car uh, through the broken sunroof, and I could see that the driver was deceased, and I ran around the other side of the car, and I tried to pull the passenger, or see if I could get the passenger out, because they were still moving. And then I, after that, I just happened to take a couple steps back on the sidewalk to get out of the water, and I noticed the police vest on the ground, so I picked it up and I gave it to the fireman and told him it was a, it, this is a police officer. This is a police officer. Police say the 20 year old driver of a black BMW, identified as Brian David Oliveri, was traveling at approximately 100 miles per hour on Roscoe Boulevard when he ran a red light and crashed into the white infinity headed northbound on Lindley. And based on the preliminary information gathered, it appears that Oliveri was under the influence of alcohol. People drive crazy these days. They just drive absolutely insane. Moments after the crash, Eric Van Leer arrived at the location. He captured on his cell phone the urgency at the scene. I saw when uh, first responders first started uh, trying to extricate the, uh, the victims. So I assumed that they were still alive. I didn't know until later on that there were uh, two DOA done on arrival. I was shaking all over my body. Betty Tavidian's apartment was damaged by the black BMW. We saw the one of the car hanging on the wall on the balcony and one of the wheels front of my uh, window. Reporting from Northridge, I'm Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.